We're making a drink. We're jacking it twice. We're making a drink today because every Friday I make drinks that I see on Pinterest that I think look so tasty and I want to taste them and so that's what we do. Uh, recently people have mentioned like, hey, it drives us crazy when you don't use the correct ingredients and to that I say, I agree. I agree with you. I should have the correct ingredients. Who? How can I fairly judge a drink when I put orange juice in it instead of lime juice? Two different juices you're giving the drink a bad name. So I'm gonna make a, it a, a resolution to use the correct ingredients every time, okay? The drink we're trying today is called Rudolph's Cranberry Fizz and it's adorable because this gal from youtry.it, Amy, made Rudolph's face on a marshmallow. So that's really all it takes to please me. I'll make your drink, I don't know what's in it, but uh, we're gonna make it. And I hope we like it. First thing we're gonna do before we make the drink is we're gonna make the Rudolph garnish so that it's all ready to go. We can pour the drink in the glass and we've got our Rudolph face. So basically we're supposed to break that in half and then we're just supposed to stick the cranberry in there like that. And then we take our marshmallow guy, can put him in there like that. <gasps> Already getting cute. So we're supposed to use cloves to create the eyes, but those were expensive, and so I got chocolate chips. Cute. Okay, that's a that's real cute. His eyes are falling out, but I don't even care. He's so cute. To make this drink, we're going to muddle cranberries and rosemary sprig in in our cocktail shaker. We're going to add gin. Cranberry juice. I actually don't have cranberry juice, but the nice people at Cascade Ice sent me um, some cherry limeade along with uh, some other flavors, but I thought, you know, it's red. It can make do for a Rudolph drink. I think it'll be just fine. Sounds delicious. And it's fizzy. Toss in some sweet vermouth. We're gonna shake that up with ice. Strain it into our chilled cocktail glass and we're going to top it with champagne. To garnish, we're going to add our adorable Rudolph marshmallow and we're gonna love it. Well, he's drinking. He's having a little drink. My, my eye fell out, but I think it's adorable. Your kids could make little Rudolph marshmallows. You could put them in hot chocolate. Oh, that's so cute. That's good. This is the kind of drink you make for your kids' teachers. And you, and when it's time to break from school, you say, look at the little craft Junior made. And I got a little drink for you too, cause you've been working with him all year and that's not easy, I should know. You know, I know that I had said I would follow ingredients exactly, but when you don't have what you don't have and you still wanna make the thing, like you just gotta make do. You gotta roll with the punches in life. And sometimes that means using cherry juice instead of cranberry juice. And you know what? Everything turned out okay. Sometimes it doesn't turn out okay. Okay, sometimes it's a, a mistake. Today it turned out okay. So we just gotta wait and see every time. Is she gonna screw this drink up by adding things that don't belong in it? Or is it gonna be okay? Merry Christmas. What a wonderful Christmas message. I am definitely going to recommend the Rudolph's Cranberry Fizz for you all today. And more than anything, I'm really going to recommend the little marshmallow Rudolph guy. This is cute and fun for the whole family, but yours will have hard alcohol in it. So I hope you have a good weekend. We're off to a great holiday start. Cheers. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Foggy Christmas Eve, oh Santa came to stay. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide him a sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee, yippee!